So we have a couple lessons lined up for you. The first one is about wreck and wrecks. So this is a wreck and wreck. Um, you might have heard of them before. They've come from the Netherlands. It's a really great tool to use in math. Basically, this is what it looks like, and we always have two different colors. They alternate. We have on the top, we have five red and then five white. The start position is always on this side, and the red always goes across first. Um, so we have 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom. Basically, the idea of a wreck and wreck is to help students develop a conceptual understanding of numbers. It really is a great tool because it's based around 10. You also have a basis of the fives within the 10. So it's really a great way to start um, working within the number 10. Now the idea is for students to understand that a number five is not just five. Um, a five can also be four and one. Um, maybe uh, we have instead a five is three and two. So there are many numbers that make up five. And um, so we start moving within a number line but using a wreck and wreck instead. This um, idea is working on decomposing numbers and that sort of thing, and that comes right out of the Common Core. So this will be really helpful as we're moving forward next year with doing a lot of that um, Common Core work um, on really getting deep into number. Uh, so this is a great tool, and coming up there's a few different categories that we go through through the lesson. When you do a lesson in your classroom, you don't have to do everything that we've seen in the video. Um, what I mean by that is I just kind of touch on different things that you can go through with your students and then go deeper into it, ask several more questions based on that. So the idea is, is that um, when you are working with these, go through the ideas first with them. What, what this is, okay, what does it look like? What do you notice about it? Talk to them about how many are on top, how many are on the bottom. Get them to talk to you about what they see. Um, and then as we go deeper in, this is the action zone. This is the starting position. So when you start, all the beads should always be on this side. And then this is the action zone. So if I'm showing you this, you know that there's two. Or if I'm showing you this, you know that's three. And then you always reset. That's the idea. So the first um, kind of thing that we go through in the video, they are looking and they're recognizing. So we're going on subitizing. We're doing a little bit of work on that. So we're showing them an amount and they have to tell me how many they see. Uh, this is a really great thing to kind of go deeper in, especially at the beginning. Subitizing is a really big deal in the Common Core, so this is a great way to work on that with your students. So in the lesson, I use a very large version of it. The students have the small version. Um, the second part of the lesson, I work on covering up. So obviously this tool can be used for kindergarten all the way through fourth grade, really, because um, we can work into even multiplication through this tool. This is just two lines of the tool, but actually the Rec and Rec, um, when you get it on the iPad and that sort of thing, you can go as far all the way up to 100, so 10 rows. So it's very good for arrays and that sort of thing. It's also really good for doubling and halving, working on um, subtraction, that sort of thing. So one way that we can get at that is to have the students, okay, so let's, maybe I'll just hide it, and in the lesson you'll see that I take some and I have this side covered up. So I'm looking at, can they um, figure out what is missing, what is not there? All right, so that's something you'll see in your lesson, and that in that second part of the lesson, and that's an excellent um, thing to dive into deeper as well. The third section of the Rec and Rec lessons um, has to do with bunk bed edition. You can do it really in any way you like, but the idea of bunk bed edition is to go into the beginning part of problem solving, um, working with addition, so I always, when I talk about bunk bed addition, I'm using a bunk bed because in a bunk bed you have a top row and a bottom row, so it's really easy for the kids to figure it out. Um, you'll see a problem discussed. You can go in any direction with that. You can do a whole lesson just on bunk bed addition because you can be talking about addition, subtraction, you can go back and forth, you can make the problem really in depth. Here we just do a quick um, brush over. Um, we're just starting it in kindergarten, so that's something that you'll see. But the reason why we do a, a bunk bed edition is because you can use a top bunk and a bottom bunk. So that's why it's really handy. 
The next part, uh, the third or the fourth section of the lesson has to do with um, showing. So that the students have their own rec and recs and what they do is they show a number. Now the idea behind that is um, decomposing numbers. So they have to show an addition, um, basically what makes up a number. So we can, in kindergarten we're going up to 10, but obviously in higher grades you can go much higher. Um, it, to this point we only have two rows so we're a little limited. It's also a great way of getting to do um, the teen numbers because we can show that we have like 10 and three more is 13. So that's a really great tool as well. All right, so the fifth part of the lesson has to do with Guess My Way. This is a great um, game to play with a wreck and wreck. Everyone really enjoys it. So basically you're hiding um, a number. You're saying, okay, we're gonna make, you're gonna show me um, let's say six, but I'm gonna show a way on mine and I want you to guess what's on mine. So you make it and you hide it. This is a really great tool to use. Um, it's very fun, but also it gets kids talking about the lot, the, all the ways that you can make a number. So it's excellent for the fat families. There's actually a free app that is a wreck and wreck. So, okay, it's called Number Rack. And how it works is it starts with just one, but you can add several different rows. You can add as many as you like. Okay, but well we're gonna stick with two. This is the same as we saw earlier. It's got the red and the white. This is um, a great thing to use because if you don't have Rec and Recs in your class, you can just use the iPad, so it's excellent. Um, the, the beads just move with your finger, so it works really great for the kids. Um, one game, just a quick idea for you to use if you want, is um, I have one uh, partner take a dice, the other takes the iPad, and one rolls the dice and they say the number. So if they roll the four, their partner has to show four, and then they switch. Or you can have them roll a number, make a number, and their partner has to make that number in a different way. So it's just easy, um, lots of fun on the iPad. All right. Okay, so boys and girls, We've been doing some work with the Wreck and Wreck. So raise your hand if you know, um, or if you can tell me something that you notice about the Wreck and Wreck. Take a look, What? how many beads are on the top? Raise your hand if you know. Nada? Ten? Yeah, there's ten beads on the top. How many are on the bottom? Sahana? Ten. Yeah, there's ten beads on the bottom. How many brown they're in? Five and five. Five and five. Okay, so we got five. We've got five, we've got five here, and we've got five there. So we know that there's how many all together? 20. 20, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some to the action zone. Now remember, this is a starting zone. So I want you to look carefully, you ready? Okay, take a look. Raise your hand if you know how many beads are in our action zone. All right, Alex, how many? Ten. Ten, how about you, Megan, how many do you think? Ten. How do you know that there are ten? How did you know that? Nikhil, how did you know? Because there's five brown beads and five red beads and then all together it's ten. So you know that five plus five is ten, so you just knew yeah, it was ten too. because it must be yeah, five plus that's five. Really easy. That's very cool. I like that strategy. I'm Where gonna take I'm gonna take this book. I'm gonna use yeah, it to cover up this sock. You ready? Okay. We're not ready for that. Sahana, I'm gonna show you how many are in the action zone. I wanna know how many are covered up by this Dr. Seuss book. Remember that all together we have how many beads again? 20. There's 20 all together. Okay, so how many beads am I covering up over here? Zero. Raise your hand if you got an idea. Ruben? Zero. You're thinking zero. What do you think, Megan? Zero. Zero. Aria, what are you thinking? Zero. Okay, Chris, what are you thinking? Zero. So that's three people on the top bunk and three people on the bottom bunk. I want you to show me that on your rec and rec. Show me three people on the top bunk and three people on the bottom bunk. I, can do it. I want you to turn to your math buddy and whisper 
how many people are on the bunk bed in all? How many people are all together? Okay, somebody raise their hand from their group and tell me how many people in all are on this bunk bed. Who can tell me? Kate, how many? There are six. There's three on the top and three on the bottom, and all together we have six. Clear this off. I want you to show me a number. You can show me in any way you want. Ready? Okay. I want you to show me the number eight. Show me in any way you can. It's up. Show me a way. Raise your hand once you have a way. Turn it around and you can put it under your chin and show me your way and then raise your hand and you can tell us your way. We have to make eight. There's lots of different, we're going to try making a number. <coughs> I got a good one. Show me six. In any way you want, show me six. Got a way as soon as you have a way, put it under your chin and show everyone. And then raise your hand if you want to share. Bob, and what do you have? Three and three. Ooh, three and three. That's six. Aria? Oh, five and one. That's six. Ruben, what do you have? Oh, three and three. Kate, what do you have? Okay, I got a way. Show me seven. Show me seven. Um, what do you have over there, Alex? <coughs> ah, zero plus seven. That's a good way, but it's not my way. All right, what do you have, Bobbin? Five on the top and bottom of the two. Excellent. That's a good way, but it's not my way. Oh, Naga's got it. He guessed my way. You got it, Kate. One on the top and